It's like the equivalent of us trying to tell you that you are in a really bad relationship, but you refuse to see it. Good day, everybody. Hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome to my channel, Model Renaissance Man. I am Ty Smith. I appreciate every last one of you guys taking time out of your day to view my content. If you do enjoy the content that I put out, I mean, you really enjoy it, make sure you hit that thumbs up if you do not mind. And also, double check to make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel because YouTube is pissed and they don't like me putting information out like this, especially when it goes against their rhetoric. All right, so let's get ready to get into this, ladies and gentlemen. But I have a random thought I'm going to throw out here real quick. I did not know that the former CEO of YouTube died. Did y'all? Susan? Did y'all know? I mean, I know I covered when her son died some months ago. I didn't know she died. Now, I'm not going to get into it. I might use it for another video for some of you that are going to be like, well, that's what she get. She and her communists. Look, I'm not one of those people that do that, okay? I'm just letting y'all know. That just happened to pop in my mind, and I just wanted to share that with y'all. So, anyway... Ladies and gentlemen, my whole point of making this video, though, is to talk about the current conditions of what we see, what's been going on with the DNC, and I want to talk to you guys about some things regarding everybody being in this state of, oh, Kamala, 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 when y'all weren't even talking about her a few months ago. I'm going to show you how you have no idea how easily social media and the news and media can absolutely manipulate you without your consent. Because you don't have the intelligence to be strong enough to actually see the bull crap they're throwing at you, okay? Anyway, before I get into any of that, I want you to check this video out. All these speeches, as good as they were, is that she's in the White House right now. Democrats have controlled the White House for 12 of the last 16 years. And for all of the talk about division and the problems in the country and people are hurting, Democrats have mostly controlled this country. Trump had it for four the Obamas and Biden had it for the rest of the time. And somehow, it's still all Trump's fault, and somehow she hasn't been at the center of it. So to me, that's still the glaring hole in this campaign that hasn't yet been solved at the convention. How do you explain all of the problems that will be solved by the person who is currently in there for the last three and a half years who is supposed to already be working on solving it? Where's the lie? Where is the lie? See, what you have to understand is that with the DNC and y'all, this happened with the RNC as well, too. But I'm just saying in particular, since this is their moment, this is their week at the DNC, all of the oh, my God, the, the euphoria, the rush of dopamine that people got because the Obamas was there and people are saying things and doing things in such ways to get you all pumped up and all this. You feel good about it. They can use that right there and get you to make some irrational decisions. You just heard the video that I just played with that man breaking all of that down. All those years combined, and you are still going to blame Trump. Notice that during the goddamn on DNC thus far, Trump name has been mentioned 127 times while they rarely mention inflation they rarely mention uh gas prices they rarely mention the illegal immigration they rarely mention the border at all why because if i keep your focus on something you can't see anything else around you as long as i keep on trump bad trump bad look what he's gonna do this is what we're gonna do he wants to sell us away trump is bad if he gets in office he's gonna do this he's a threat to our democracy he this he they're not talking about anything that they're doing one of the things that I cannot stand, and I'm just telling y'all straight up, even if you're friends of mine, I tell you guys all the time. It's hard for me to be in a conversation with someone who knowingly is doing something wrong, and yet they try to give like advice on what should be done when it comes to righteousness on certain things. So let me give you an example. I knew someone at one time when I was in high school, he would beat up his girlfriend. Of course, I would be so pissed off. I'm the man. I would hear about it. She would talk about it. I never seen him do it, but I was told, I did tell him, bro, this is crazy what old girl saying about you. I'm not going to say her name or his name, but I said, please don't do that in front of me. If you do that in front of me, me and you probably will no longer be friends. And I'm not saying that we won't be friends because I will befriend you. I mean, I would, you know, defriend you. I guess that's even a word. 
because I, I'm going to see you do it. I know that we won't be friends because you're not going to like what I'm going to do to you. Don't ever let me see that, ever. So at the same time, she kept going back to him. That just blew my mind. But my point in saying all that is this. When we would be in conversation about things going on in life, things going on with people, things going on with children, he would try to throw his input in there like, oh, yeah, man, like it's crazy what's going on. You looking, I'm looking at him like, dude, you literally beat up such and such. You have nothing to say. So what I'm saying that for is this. Ladies and gentlemen, all when you get past the butterflies like a relationship, when you like they're calling it right now, the, the Kamala honeymoon stage, when you get past, oh my God, Kamala is running a woman of color. You know, let's get, you know, let's look, let's look beyond the fake blackness she is too. Let's get beyond that. When you get past all the, oh my God, the euphoria, the butterflies, the new beginnings of a relationship and everything like that, and those feelings start to die down, and you hit a reality. You don't even have to really do that yet. I can tell you right now, do you not know who actually is in the White House right now? It's President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. So how is it if I was to tell you I am the boyfriend like my friend was, I'm the boyfriend that's beating you up, beating you up, bruising your face, knocking your teeth out your mouth, but then I'm going to turn around and tell you, if you don't dump me and you marry me, I'm going to be better. We all heard that story before, right? We've all heard that story. People, they do these conventions and things like that to get you guys all hyped up. All this stuff, dopamine being released and everything like that. You guys are cheering and everything like that. And yet, at the same time, they're the ones that's abusing you. Right now, the current administration right now is the reason why things are screwed up like it is right now. And now they're still telling, and then they're the ones telling you, we or I'm going to fix this problem when I become president. Why aren't you making any steps to even do that right now as VP? Why aren't you actually going to talking to your president, Biden, and telling him, do this while you still have months left? Do this, do that. No, I'm going to fix it whenever I do become the president. It's a bunch of bull crap. It's still the equivalent of, well, you know what? If I can get the man that's beat me, you know what? I think it's because he wants to marry me. If he marries me, I know he's going to change. No, they are not. Three and a half years. And what have they done? And you think it's going to change? You guys are basing this off of identity politics, thinking that because, oh, we're going to have a first woman, we're going to have a colored woman. Oh, look how far we've come. And they still going to be bringing nothing but damnation to you like they've already been doing. And you won't have no excuse for that, ladies. I'm, you won't have no excuse. So let me ask you a question. What's your current situation right now with your uh, current president administration? What's your current condition right now? Those of you that are listening right now, that may be you. I know some of y'all are up here at the DNC. I've seen a lot of you. And some of y'all were just getting pissed off when I asked you this question. Y'all, Kamala going to do. Kamala said, why is she doing it now? Well, because her hands are tied. No, they're not. And then I said this to them too. And I'm asking you, the listening audience. After all the euphoria died down, after all the dopamine dies back down, and you go back to your home, what's your current condition? How does it feel? Huh? What, is the, what, do, the, what do those bills look like? Huh? Do you have to even take the? Do you have to take the bus now? Do you have to cut back on your traveling? Do you have to cut back on vacation? Do you have to, did you have to cancel your vacation because of costs? Huh? See, all that looks good and sounds good while you're there. Oh my God, Obama! Oh, the Obamas came! Oh, girl, did y'all hear Ailes? Did y'all hear? Did y'all hear Obama? Oh my God! Oh my, it was so good to see. I got a picture with him. Oh my God, I got a picture. When you go home after all that. What are you left with? What are you dealing with? What are you struggling with? Because it's not going to change. It's the same exact thing I preach when I go to churches. All the God can do it. Won't he do it? I'm going to tell you right now. Your time is coming. This is your year. This is your season. You're going to do this. You're going to do it. He's going to do it. Look at your neighbor. Y'all up there. Oh, y'all feeling it feels so good. But let me ask you, after months and months and months of hearing preaching like that, has your situation changed? And if it has not, why are you still going to that church? If it has not, why are you still picking these people to be your leaders in the community? If it has not, why are you getting ready to pick the person who can take care of those things right now? Why are you going to pick them again? And whatever happens is going to be a result of your choice. I'm telling you right now. 
Plain and simple. Anyway, y'all, I got some other videos I'm going to pump out here that I want y'all to see, especially when it came to somebody tried to bring an illegal alien, an illegal immigrant into the DNC and watch how they got treated. I can't wait for y'all to see this one. Stay tuned, folks. Don't forget to do this right here, all right? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.